Hey friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm working in Chief Architect Premier version X12 on my MacBook laptop computer. No, I haven't updated to X13 yet. I can't wait till I can do that. Um, have you ever run into a case where you drop in this, uh, this electrical fixture and it just shows up as a basic block like this? Uh, a basic light symbol like this and not as the it really should in plan view like this here or this one. Well I'll show you how we can do that. Let's get started. The issue in these blocks, fixture blocks, is called the 2D symbol. What I've done is this is one fixture and resized that to the proper size of the fixture I'm looking for. The fixture I'm really going to install looks more like this one here and so I want that look in plan view as well. So what I've done is I've taken, I'm going to delete one of these, I've inserted this. For this one I already have this symbol uh, in the, in the uh, fixture that I previously uh, entered in the model, but I want that at first I tried using this sim this fixture and applying this symbol to it, symbol number one to the fixture number two. Select the fixture and down in the bottom, uh, child tools, you can choose this uh, pencil with a chair and that's open the symbol go to the 2D block and what I did was in these available CAD blocks in my model I went and just found this round pendant chandelier and changed that to change it to the round pendant chandelier. Now it's not quite what I wanted it's also not showing up to the size that I wanted because this, uh, this uh, symbol is 48 inches diameter this block is only at 24, so that's not really working. It worked here, and I'll show you what I did. Select the symbol, choose that open symbol uh, child tool down here in the bottom, go to the 2D block, and instead of the pendant available CAD block, I'm going to generate the block. I click on that button, and here's what it will actually show now in plan view. Simple as that. There's your, I can delete these other two. Even delete that one. That's not the symbol we're going to, that's not the fixture we're going to be installing anyway. And add my arrow. Simple as that. Select the symbol, choose the child tool open symbol, go to 2D block pane here and click on generate block. And you're done. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching. As always, hit the like button, subscribe so you can see the next video, and leave comments. I enjoy seeing those and interacting with you in that way. Have a wonderful week.